Alright guys, just the tour of my beast. So I'm running NVIDIA 3D Surround on Alienware Optex 23 inch screens. Razer peripherals, got the Medagalon, um, Black Widow Ultimate, Razer Mamba. I'm very fussy about my cords. So I'll tie them all back nice and neat. Just running cheap Logitech 5.1 surround. Um, some Razer mouse pads. That's a um, the new Razer Scarab mouse pad. Mega Soma sitting there so I can swap them around. I'm just trying them out at the moment, trying out both of them. It's the D-Link router over there. Uh, and this is the beast itself. Alright, I'll go right into the specs. Corsair Obsidian 800D. I've got a Fezza Quad exchanger on the back and a Fezza Triple in the top. Noctua fans cooling the one in the top and Fezza fans cooling the one at the back there, um, mid-speed fans, um, the tree work fans, uh, that's a coolant radiator mount, adjustable, coolant quick disconnects, and I've got some guards on the back of that radiator, alright, let's get inside this thing, get the side panel off. Got a Rampage 3 Extreme uh, with an EK full cover block on it. Um, I'll give you a proper look in a minute. Got a Core i7 980X with an EK um, copper acetyl water block. Got three Tri SLI GTX 480s, all with. Um, Nickel acetyl water blocks from EK on them. Bits Power Reservoirs, they're 150mm reservoirs. Dual loop system, water cooling system. Swifttech MCP655s with full Bits Power mod kits on them. That's a EK triple serial link with the graphics cards right there. Um, I've got some coolant quick disconnects. Actually running one, two, three, five of them at the moment. Uh, just so I can easily drain the system. The rest of the fittings, aside from these coolant filters, are all bits power. They're all bits power black sparkle fittings. And um, there's a lot of them in there. I'll tell you, at least 500 bucks worth, maybe more. Compression fittings, 90 degree fittings, 45s, um, rotary snake fittings, just the whole lot. Um, I've got a blue cold cathode at the bottom there, and a UV cold cathode at the top, and another UV just there. And I've got a red LED strip uh, in there, and a blue one just behind the reservoir there. Yeah, it took me about a couple of weeks to build this system. It was yeah, probably a, a good 20 hours, you know, just in designing and, and mucking around because I just got all the bits and pieces. I didn't really know how I was going to put it together. I'd had a little bit of a think about it, but it's not until you start putting stuff in the case that you realise it's not going to fit and you've got to change things around. That's a Silverstone 1500 watt Strider. I found I couldn't go on any less than 1500 watts with the overclocking that I'm running. I had the Animax Revolution 1250 watt and it wasn't enough because I'm running a massive overclock on my graphics cards and CPU. I'm really pushing the hell out of it. Um, yeah, that's a Animax TB Silence fan and I think I've just got the stock standard 140mm underneath that cover. Uh, I'm running what is it? Six terabytes of Western Digital 
Caviar Blacks. I'm also running two OCZ um, 60 gigabyte SSDs uh, with the Sandforce 2 controller. They're in RAID 0. Incredible performance out of those. Um, yeah, I've, I've got a separate review of those actually with some all the performance results. Uh, yeah, Corsair 2000 megahertz C8. They're Dominator GTs. Uh, what have I forgotten here? Yeah, they're EVGA GTX 480s by the way. So yeah, dual loop uh, pump up to the full cover block on the motherboard. Comes out of the full cover block on the motherboard. Up into the radiator. Down to the graphics cards, through the cards. To the reservoir, through the filter, back to the pump. And then this one's a bit more simple. It just goes pump, CPU, radiator and then back to the reservoir then I've just got two fan controllers to control all the fans on the radiators got the Zelman ZM MFC3 you can actually see coolant temps there as well 36.1 on one loop and 35.8 on the other 35.8 is the the GPU loop it's funny that it's cooler but it is idling at the moment um, and that's a Scythe server fan controller. That's for the four, for the quad radiator. LG Blu-ray writer. Yeah, so that's basically it. I'd um, like to show you the cable management. You know, it's reasonable. I haven't been totally obsessed with getting it perfect. I've just done a reasonable, practical job. It, it is pretty neat. Um, but yeah, I'll have to pull the whole system out for that which I'm not going to do. Very impressed with the performance of these Feza fans. They're nice and quiet. I do have them turned down a little bit. Worth every cent. I'll be getting a lot more of those. You know they take up a lot of space. I certainly wouldn't wouldn't have them inside my case but um, yeah definitely worth it. And I love my Noctua's great cooling performance for the for how silent they are. You can barely hear them. Alright. I hope you enjoyed the video.